And in that sense, you, you feel like that could be dangerous because you said that maybe those could be used by, I think you've said, quote, nasty, selfish people. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm more scared of people than of, 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 of AGIs, actually. <laughs> I mean, AGIs are an unknown. <clears throat> so, of course, there's some fear of the unknown, but I, I, I mean... It'll also be over quick end, as well. It'll be over quick and you can't control a bad AGI, well, but we're right? Bu- we're, but we're building them and shaping them, right? So, I mean, there, there seems no reason to me to believe if you create an AGI and you inculcate it with a positive system of, of ethics, of love and respect for sentient beings, and you you relate to it in, in, in a loving way, and you have it carry out what we consider good works in connection with people. You raise a baby AGI doing education, healthcare, medicine, science, art, in a, in a positive way to help people and, and animals and the environment. I see no reason to believe an AGI system built and educated in that way is suddenly going to reverse and start eating everyone, right? I mean, of course it could happen. What if it has a bad day? I mean, well, sure. Any, 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 anything could happen in, 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 in this world, but I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem especially likely. I mean, you, you or I could have a bad day and go berserk and murder everyone in our vicinity, but we're not, we're not likely to, right? I mean, you can't, you can't entirely rule out bad things in, 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 in the, in the real world, but still, I mean, there's odds estimation, right? On, on, on the other hand, if you look at the human species, what do we have, what do we have in the, in the world now? We've got this senseless war in, in, in the Ukraine. We have senseless, Wars and massive human slaughter all throughout Africa that nobody bothers to to pay atten- attention to, right? I mean, I mean, you've got a looming potential conflict between China and and Taiwan, and I mean, here in the Pacific Northwest, what where I live, I, I moved here to an island in the Puget Sound off the coast of Seattle three years ago after ten years in Hong Kong when I got fed up with Hong Kong's uh, handling of, of COVID, right? So. I mean, beautiful place, Seattle area. We got Microsoft, Amazon, uh, Boeing, big Google offices, all sorts of people camped out in tents on the street in, in in downtown Seattle, literally eating garbage. Right? I mean, we we see we see humanity already here and is inhumane to to itself. So I'm just I feel like this is a very clear and present risk as opposed to the hypothetical risk of super AGI becoming becoming malevolent. We've got a, on the one hand, you've got a sort of baby and you have the ability to shape that baby's mind in a positive direction. On the other hand, you have a sort of mature Adele of, of the human civilization and species, which is busily at work murdering, oppressing and lying to itself and screwing itself over in every possible way, right? So, I mean, this is a, this is a worry. What what you would like to see is humanity to uplift its consciousness so that it can then raise the baby AGIs it's created in a positive and, and, and up, uplifting way, right? But I mean, that progress toward AGI appears to be happening radically faster than progress toward uplifting the mass consciousness of, 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 of humanity, which means the baby AGI is going to be raised by a very dysfunctional set of parents right com- 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 comprising the human species or various sub organizations thereof now that that doesn't mean things are hopeless of course many wonderful ethical actualized human beings have started out in, in dysfunctional families and then risen above it but that's sort of the challenge we're, we're posing to the the first agis we create So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, 
and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom. We choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.